Eating Cafe. My name is Belinda Dabston and it is our weekly eating overview. Halfway point through April for the week commencing the 15th of April 2024. I hope that you've had a very, very good week. The week had gone by and as we recap, we look back to that fellowship that we were being asked to pay attention to or multiple associations where we are working with others and learning how to deal with some stickiness. So what were the sticky points for you in your associations and working with others? What kind of networks and associations and fellowships came up for you to pay attention to? We had all those interesting lines of forming the new fellowship at the gate and going through the gate together. We had secrets and the spying, okay, the espionage and the mistrust in one of our networks or one of our associations and then dealing with disagreement where at least we weren't fighting but we were in separate places we were back in our own cities taking care of our own needs and not yet resolving the argument but just getting on with the job at hand so what was that all about for you last week plus we had the bigger picture contemplation come to connect us to a path to victory of seeing the bigger picture and not losing sight of what we are trying to create, where we are going and what the future needs to be as the next step. So if anything came up for you that was evidential in your life, that was interesting, insights and symbols that you work with with these hexagrams, please do share a comment. It is always great to hear from you. Wow, this week, let's get into it because our first hexagram, right, coming to bring us some growth and some energy this week is hexagram 51, shock or shaking, shake up. Okay, this is the energy of the lightning bolt cracking in the sky, the thunder and the lightning, very, very frightening and It always brings to us an acceleration, all right, a shake up quickly of change coming to bring us out of perhaps areas where there is some dust and some slow energy, right, and just getting us shaken up and taken out of where we were into something new, an acceleration, a sudden momentous energy moving us forward. Yes, this sudden energy doesn't always feel pleasant, (laughs) okay, because we get into a groove, all right, and then something comes, bam, and shakes us out of where we were. But what it's really doing is it's trying to help us. This energy comes to get us out of one track and hop us off into a new track because we've got stuck, okay. Somewhere our energy has got stuck. And the change comes to quickly shift us out of one gear into the other. So I'm expecting that globally and in our lives, we're going to see lots of surprising, unexpected twists and turns, last minute shakeups. Okay, coming to bring us some sudden movement. With this hexagram, the most important thing is no matter what is happening around us, no matter what lightning bolt, Okay, might be hammering around no matter how fast the pace or how out of control everything might feel. We stay focused on what we are here to do. Right. So you can just imagine like in, the, in that storm, right? In the midst of the storm and the wind whipping and the lightning bolts and the thunder, boom, boom, boom. We're absolutely focused. Keep walking. We're not running, okay? We're not in a panic. We are clear on what we are here to do and we do not drop our focus and the important tasks that are on the dashboard okay focus 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 and you move through the storm okay these shakeups are not necessarily all about difficulties they can be unexpected surprise turn of events that are good that are obviously good but it brings with it that oh okay energy of like oh goodness this is all too fast, this is all too much, this is all too, oh, it's just it's, it's the change of the acceleration. And just, I'm struggling to deal with the pace of this, of the speed, of the ratcheting up that's happening in the situation. Okay. So as we work with that in the week to come, all right, two changing lines, second and fifth position. So these are relatively stable positions <laughs> in this hexagram. If imagine 
that an electrical storm is not that stable. You never know where that lightning bolt is going to earth itself, right? And that's the energy. But two and five, these are stable-ish lines, so we can work with this in the right way. Okay, in line two, this changing line says, unexpectedly, you lose your treasured items. Okay, something that you treasure, you lose. Okay, for all of us, this might be, you know, we have a theft. Okay, that's a physical possession. Or a key team member leaves, right? Or something unexpected that you really care about suddenly disappears. So our treasured items might not be physical things, okay? There might be a lot of different things. That's why we have to stay open to it. But what do we treasure that this week we become aware of is gone? Okay. What this changing line says, we don't attack it. We don't attack the problem. We don't go out and try and wrestle with it, okay? We actually use the retreat energy to withdraw. So wherever we face a difficulty where this item has been taken or we are challenged, okay, you know, our integrity is a treasured item. You know, there's lots of different ways we can look at this. We can withdraw, okay, we retreat out of the grasp of the negativity of the situation and we just be patient, okay. Because this line says within seven days, the treasure and items will return. <laughs> I'm traveling this week and I'm thinking to myself, let this not be luggage, okay? Let this not be luggage that's gone for seven days. No, 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 no. <laughs> Those are definitely treasured items when you are traveling. So work with this line in having faith that, okay, whatever has suddenly left, it's just Make peace with it, withdraw, okay? Take time out to get that perspective, to just be out of the impact of the situation, to not let it hurt you. Withdraw, take some time out. They'll come back within seven days, okay? So we can do that. We can be patient in the midst of some kind of challenge or upheaval that is unexpected, okay? And this might be a small little thing, okay? This doesn't make... Our lives crumble and fall to pieces because this line has come up. We just, when this happens, if this happens for you, or whatever level a treasured item might be, we just say, all right, within a week, within seven days, it comes back, all right, let's see what happens. All right, in position five, this line says, we are hammered with repeated shakeups, shocks, movements, developments, boom, 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 every time we look, lightning bolts. And in a way, it's a deepening of the overall meaning of this hexagram of not losing sight of what you're here to do and to keep moving forward. So despite how you might feel, despite all the noise, despite all the acceleration and the change happening, is being very clear on what needs to be done and just staying focused on moving forward, okay? Not letting the chaos and the noise and the crashing and bashing all around us to derail us from what is important, okay? We put our head down and we make our way through it. And if we are able to do that without getting caught up in the noise, the blessing comes, the help comes, the way through comes because we have stayed focused and we've moved forward, okay? That's the strategy. No matter what happens this week, we stay focused on what's important. And I often think of like holding a sacred egg, you know, like a a glass egg and you're holding this egg and our mission is to get from where we are holding this egg this beautiful Fabergé right and handing it over on the other side and we can't drop it it will smash no matter what happens around us we have to carry this egg and we have to hold it and it's a precious thing and we look after it and we get it to the other side that is what we have to do this week so where does this lead what is our path to victory in all this noise and crashing and bashing what are we working with, with this energy? Is there a reprieve, okay, the path to victory? Because it's 58 joy. So I would say this is a very intense week because we have all this bashing and crashing, all this stuff that needs to get done, all this acceleration, all this movement, okay, all this overwhelm. And we also are having the opportunity to connect with others, to share, to exchange, to experience joy, to talk, 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 talk. This hexagram joy is all about expressing and sharing openly with others and having a joy in the flow with others. It's a teaching hexagram. It helps us to share our, 
our story with others, to connect with others. It's a wonderful energy. And it's sitting here as a path to victory as we go through this shake-up energy. So the way we deal with the shake-up when we maximize the opportunity to get somewhere despite all the noise is we bring this joy and we focus around staying engaged with others, communicating, being open, connecting with others, sharing stories, staying with a sense of humor, okay? Staying in a place of being able to laugh in the storm, okay? This is what this energy brings us to do and how to be victorious through this week. Because once the calm has come back and the storm has passed and we look at what is possible to achieve because we just stayed focused on that fabric egg and protecting it with our life. You know that idea. We look back and think, wow, that was like four years of growth, <laughs> of movement crammed into one little week. How is that possible that everything happened in one week? Okay, that's the opportunity that we can have. So a wonderful week for us to accelerate, to shake up the cobwebs and get out of where we were stuck into a new phase, literally pushed and shoved forward, okay, with the storm, but the joy and the opportunity to connect wonderfully with others is there. We just have to be open and stay in communication, stay in flow with the people closest to us and stay in a sense of humor, no matter what happens, being able to laugh. Okay, you can do it. I can do it. We are all doing it this week. And let's see where we land up once the storm is passed next week. Thank you so much. If you liked this episode, it was meaningful. Thumbs up, a like, be great. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, the bell, you know what to do. And same on the podcast version. Hit that follow button. And for both, you'll get the new episodes straight into your app as they land. And this is our opportunity to work every week with the I Ching and to make greater progress towards being the superior people spoken of in the I Ching and to master our lives and to bring happiness and prosperity and abundance to ourselves and those around us. That's what we're doing here together. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon at our next weekly overview.